this is one thing I like about the open air markets out here and eating in these little like roadside bender food court things. And these are the type that would have be attached to a motorcycle or a cart. And they're all in this, they all got together underneath this one little overhang. Yep, cup from cup. As you see, he brought me that bowl with the, uh, the yes, yeah, swap the cup. Thank you. Yeah, so he's got his bowls, his plates, and also I got one from him, which was one type of noodle with like a, it was like a fish ball thing with shrimp balls and everything. And send me noodles and oh, uh, green. And then uh, I got this one right here, which is another send me mo, which is pork and noodle and everything, which I got from this vendor. And then uh, my wife got this one from one vendor, got that one from another vendor, got, I got that from a different vendor, and I have another one on its way right now from a vendor over that way, which is a type of pork, it's like a pork steak thing, chopped up probably with rice, coming here in a minute. And uh, yeah, so you can sit here and you can try and eat like all the different dishes from the different vendors here. And each vendor, there's one, there's one. At different prices, 30, 35 baht for that one. That one's 25 baht. That one has a 20 baht dish. This one has a anywhere from 25 to 35 baht. It matters which one you order. And see, this one has 30 to 40 baht, 30, 35, and 40 different dishes on that one. And they sell something different. And the one behind them is another one right there. There's another one over here. There's another one over here. So on and so forth all the way around. So with this, you can come in here and you can try all different dishes of Thai cuisine in one location. You can sit under this roof even if it's raining like today, and you can enjoy really good Thai cuisines in some of these. This is the way I like to eat in Bangkok. I like these little carts. The carts, to me, are the best food in Bangkok. Anytime I go in an air-conditioned indoor restaurant, the food is not that great. But when I, whenever I see these little carts, they make the best food. So always keep an eye out for them. Go up and try it. Uh, just remember the one word if you don't like spicy stuff. My pick. Say it like, you know, my pick of the litter, you know? Say my pick, and that means not hot and spicy, if you don't like hot and spicy. And uh, yeah, so uh, mo means pig, pork. Uh, was it guy means chicken? Guy means chicken. Uh, beef is mua. Mua. Also, you can say nuat. Nuat, you can also say nuat. Yeah, okay. Uh, send me is a type of noodle. There's uh, bot meat is another type of noodle. Um, there's all different stuff like that. So you get the idea. Like once you learn the basics, you can get just about anything. Oh, somebody just won a poker game. So, but uh, anyway, that's how it works here in Bangkok. And um, if you really come out and try the real street food, that's what these are. These are street side vendors that got together under a little co-op type thing, and they're they're marketing here really good so it gives you a lot of food in one compact little area and if you walk out from underneath this tent there's more vendors across the street over here so not only can I eat what's here but I can go over here to these vendors some of them are closed now it's really late at night but right there are a whole bunch more vendors and I can try their foods there's the lady who makes the pork on a stick behind that truck but she's gone now it's too late so everything from desserts, drinks, everything. So remember when you're in Bangkok, come to these places. They look a little dingy. It's a little dirty floor, you know, a little wood table or something. You know, an old tent, something like this. It doesn't look like the cleanest, nicest place in the world, plastic furniture. But you know what? The food is clean. It's healthy. These people are very conscious of, you know, that. Uh, it's good. Like I said, if it looks good, smells good, buy it. So go up to each vendor and evaluate it. If the meat looks fresh, everything looks good, buy it and eat it. It's worth a try. You'll love it, I'm telling you. And I have not been sick not once from these places. The only time I got sick, I got the runs. It was uh, once from an indoor place here and once from an indoor place in Cambodia where I ate uh, a cheeseburger, basically, in Cambodia in an indoor place. That was the worst one. And uh, there was one little one when I first got here. I ate at an indoor place, like KFC type place, and uh, I ended up getting uh, the runs from that for like a day. It wasn't that big a deal. But I've been eating the street food the whole time I've been here, and I haven't gotten sick at all. 
In fact, it's delicious, and it's one-tenth of the price of the indoor places, too. And it's way fresher, way better. So make sure when you come to Thailand that you eat in these places. This You don't want to miss this. There may be ants on the floor. There may be a little dirty. It may be flies flying around. Who cares? Eat the food. It's worth it. Trust me.